Hey guys, it's Risa Shayi from Fly Fierce Fab. In today's video, this is gonna be my slay all day get ready with me. This is my makeup routine when I have a long, like 12, 18 hour day and I wanna do my makeup, be cute and be able to touch up and maybe go back out like after working or a long day at school, something like that. I do have oily skin. A lot of these products are gonna be mattifying. They're super long lasting and you see me do this a lot on Snapchat. I just wanted to film a tutorial and have it somewhere so you guys could refer back to it. So first I use my heavy duty matte primer, the Becca Poreless Perfecting one um, in my T-zone. And then I'm using the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer everywhere else that was given to me at Gem Beauty. And now I am going under my eyes with an eyeshadow primer just to help prevent like creasing in those areas. And I set um, the primer, specifically the T-zone area, with the Laura Mercier powder in medium to deep just to make sure I stay matte for longer. I'm doing my brows now. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Chocolate. This is like a sample that I got with an order um, from Sephora. And then any little gappy areas, I'm filling them in with a brow pencil. I'm also gonna use the Anastasia Concealer in the pot to carve out my brows. And y'all, this is that like fresh brow wax concealer like it will get you right no matter how crazy your brows are looking so i carve up my brows and then i blend out the concealer with a synthetic eyeshadow brush and i take a little bit in the front of my brows this way it doesn't look like super blocky or whatever now using my cream contour kit also by anastasia i'm using the shade nude and i'm applying that all over my eyelid um, as a base for my eyeshadows and then i blend it out a little bit with the same synthetic eyeshadow brush and then I set it with the Airspun Translucent Powder. Um, for my transition shade, I am using Madagascar from the Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palette and I am blending that out um, with the Morphe M505. Now I'm using the Jaclyn Hill palette, y'all. <laughs> I don't remember the name of the shade. They, don't put the, they didn't put like shade names printed on the palette so it kind of makes my life um, a little bit more difficult. <laughs> But I'm using the Morphe M441 brush to blend that out um, in my crease. Now I'm taking the Morphe 35L palette. I'm taking that super bright orange shade and I'm blending that out in my crease with the MAC 217 brush. I realized like after getting started with the eyeshadow, I wanted something like warmer and more orangey there. So that's why I went in with that after. And then you will see me throughout this video just go back in and touch up the shades that I've been using um, with the eyeshadows. Um, I'm using a MAC shadow right here and I'm blending it out with the Zoeva 224 in my crease. I'm starting to like create more depth and definition. I don't know the name of that shade sis. I think it's Deep Damson but I'm not 100% sure. I don't really remember the name of that shade and then when I glued it onto like the magnet thing to sit in my pan like I can't see the name anymore so I'm not sure but I think it's Deep Damson. Anywho, so I'm continuing to touch up with those eyeshadow shades. I'm going back to like the same shades I already used in my crease with the same brushes and touching up. I'm trying not to get too carried away with Madagascar though because it's kind of like toning down all the warmth that I'm trying to create in my crease. And then I am going to use Corrupt Eyeshadow um, by Makeup Geek in my outer V and in my crease as well just to really like deepen things. I'm going back in with Deep Damson and then I'm touching up with the Jaclyn Hill shade and then the orange shade and then lastly Madagascar just to make sure I don't lose the intensity of anything. And now I'm going to carve out my lid. I'm still using the nude shade from the Cream Contour Kit and I'm just trying to like carve it out very carefully and slowly this way I can get like that nice sharp line um, for my crease. And then on top of that, I'm going in with that shade from the Morphe 35O palette that's going everywhere that I carved out on my lid. And then I'm just trying to touch up my crease a little bit. And then for my inner eye highlight, I just grabbed that shade from the Morphe 35O palette. And now I'm going in with this black gel aligner by Inglot. And what you saw me drop in there was some Duraline, which is also by Inglot. So if you have like a gel product or a cream product that's dried out on you, drop a little Duraline in there and it comes back to life. Now I'm going to set the liner with Corrupt Eyeshadow by Makeup Geek. This way like the liner doesn't like budge on me or anything like that. And then I'm going to touch up my crease a little bit again. And then I'm using the Luxie Beauty 121 Mini Tapered Brush. This was also given to me at Gem Beauty. And I'm taking a little bit of the gel liner in my outer V area um, along the area 
where I'd place corrupt kind of just to like deepen my outer V. I want to make sure I point out I did not stick it in the part that I had put Duraline in. You don't want to do that. That will be a mess. So anywho, I'm going on top of that with Corrupt just to set it. This way that doesn't move around or anything at all. Like I want everything to stay in place. And then I'm touching up with, I'm going to say Deep Damson because I think that's the name of the shade. <laughs> and then the Jaclyn Hill shade. And then I will touch up again with the um, Morphe shade on my lid. Just any areas I had a little fallout from doing that crease work. So now I'm going to base underneath my eye with the same nude shade and then I'm going in with the orange shade from the Morphe 35O and then the Jaclyn Hill palette shade and I'm lining my waterline with the Marc Jacobs um, eye pencil in black and then in the lower lash line I'm using the MAC eyeshadow again. For mascara I'm using the CoverGirl Total Tease mascara. I also got this at Gem Beauty and I kind of like her. And I um, wiped away all the fallout with a makeup wipe and for lashes I used Coco Lashes in Queen Bee. I'm going back in with a little more Laura Mercier powder because child gets hot under them lights. I was getting oily and we can't have that. So now I am going in with the coral shade from the contour kit just to correct any areas of darkness. And then I'm going to take a little bit of that skin tone shade from the palette and I'm just going to place it on top of my nose. That's a tip I learned from James Charles. If your makeup tends to wear off like in your nose area a little bit, if you put down a little bit of like a skin tone concealer shade or whatever before foundation, um, you won't really have that problem. For foundation, I'm using Estee Lauder Double Wear in 5N2 Amber Honey. This is my go-to slay all day long lasting foundation. Nothing else holds me down like Estee Lauder Double Wear. To highlight and conceal, I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC45. And I am blending that all out with the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. I just placed it with like a random like flat concealer brush that I had on hand. And then to make sure everything blends well, I'm going back with my foundation brush just to blend the edges. I'm going to mix the Sacha Cosmetics Buttercup Powder with a little bit of the Laura Mercier. And I'm going to use that to set all my highlighted areas. So I'm grabbing the Black Radiance Contour Palette. And I'm using the darkest shade right there just to add some like warmth to my face and start to create some dimension. So I'm using that along my cheekbones, the jawline, and along my forehead area. And then to add a more of a shadow like um, along my cheekbone area, I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics, their, um, their contour palette. I'm using the darkest shade and I'm just blending that out slightly underneath um, where I use the Black Radiance palette. And then I'm cleaning that up with the same shades that I had used to set my highlighter earlier, the Sacha Cosmetics mix. To set my face and add a tiny bit more coverage, I'm using the um, MAC Studio Fix powder in the shade NC. 55 and I'm just gonna blend that out to highlight I'm going in my Ofra highlighter book which I copped at Gem Beauty for like $30 such a steal um, I'm going in with the gold shade which I think is Rodeo Drive and I sprayed my highlighter brush first and then applied it this way it gives me like a really nice pop in highlight Now I'm going to um, spray some Fix Plus on my face just to get all the powders to start melting into each other. And then I'm going to set my T-zone area with the Blot Powder from MAC Cosmetics. This powder always really helps me keep my oils at bay, so that's why I use this. And then for blush, I'm using Sienna from La Femme. And I'm going to add some mascara to my lower lashes. Alright, okay, I see what you did there, girl. So now I'm going to line my lips. I'm using the MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. I'm going to try and define my Cupid's bow a little bit more. I've been trying to do this. Someone mentioned it to me in a Snapchat tutorial. Whoever it was is, girl, you was right. So now I have the More Creamer Please lipstick from the Desi and Katie um, Dose of Colors collab. And girl, this shade is beautiful. I'm mad that I didn't get another tube. And I'm also mad that I waited to the last like restock to buy it. But it's popping and then for gloss I'm using this glittery one from NYX called do the hustle 
Okay, so when I'm filming this video for you guys, today is Tuesday. I had to film it early because your girl got to work and she got school the rest of the week. So right now it is 1.36 um, Tuesday afternoon. So I'm going to go about my day the way I normally would when I have a long day and I do this makeup routine. Um, for touch-ups, I only take my MAC pressed blot powder and usually around like the sixth hour or so is when I need to like touch up my face. So I will touch up like normal and I'll come back to you guys around 8 or 9 o'clock and then show you what my makeup looks like and how I will touch up and tweak it a little bit to go out. Um, like I said, today is Tuesday. This is the same exact makeup look and routine I plan on wearing Saturday, which is hopefully when you'll be seeing this video. On Saturday, I do have to work all day and then I will be going out with my girls that night, so I will be touching up and tweaking to go out after. So real quick hair deeds, I'm wearing the Inna wig by Sensational in the shade F1 B30. We're back now, seven hours later. Um, I have been sitting in front of the lights for a while to like take pictures and do a bunch of stuff. Um, so I'm slightly more oily than normal, but like not a lot. Like that's pretty typical of what I would look like. So I'm touching up first with the pressed blot powder from MAC just to like get rid of all the oil. And then I'm just going to touch up my face a little bit with the, um, the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC55. And I want to switch my lip because I'm going out and I want to do a red lip with this outfit. So I'm using the Ellery Lip Line from ColourPop and then I'm going over that with Monte Carlo soft matte lip cream by NYX and I want a brighter red so I'm going to use on top of that the Mary Jo K um, matte lip from Kylie Cosmetics I want to do like an ombre lip type of deal so I'm taking the Ellery lip liner and just kind of shading in the corners of my mouth this way it has like an ombre effect I really like that I don't know why I'm touching up my highlighter just a little bit because after touching up my face with the other powders um, it kind of like dulled it and then to make it pop I'm going to add some of the gold digger um, highlighter from Artist Couture Okay, real quick outfit deeds. My outfit is from Fashion Nova, the top and the pants. They have been getting me right lately, y'all, let me tell you. So I really like this top. It's nice and fun. It is completely sheer, though, so you got to wear, like, the right thing underneath, you know, if you know what I'm saying. And then uh, the pants are really cute. They lace up on the sides. I will hopefully have better pictures on Instagram later. But I did wear those pants to Gem Beauty as well if you want to see what they look like in other angles. And yeah, that's it. Okay guys, that's it for my Slay All Day Get Ready With Me. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment down below and I will get back to you. I do have a couple other videos you should check out while you're here, sis. Um, you can catch me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. I am Fly Pierce Fab on all those platforms. Thanks for watching, stay snatched, and I'll see you next time.